Hello everybody and it's day four of our body image healing little mini tiny tiny workshops here. Um, so like I said this is our fourth day and you know I think I would assume for all of you if I were you know if I were, when I was in your shoes every day of these would be emotional. I think today's going to be a little bit more in the sense of that it is and we never intended it for it to be this way, but it is an assault on our sense of self when we're telling ourselves a part of ourselves isn't good enough. And I know that we all learn that cultural conditioning. We've kind of gotten some learned self-hatred around our bodies for in whatever way, shape or form it is. And I think it's time that we make amends. Um, and this you know, video isn't really about me saying you have to love your body. It's more about can we... Remember that we're in relationship with our bodies and you've all heard like we wouldn't talk to our, you know, somebody else that we talked about ourselves with our food, our body, but I think it's time to actually sit down with your journal. So I'm getting piece of my notebook out here, get you a big one, get you a big notebook or get your pretty little journal or do it on your phone. But I think it's, I think the good old fashioned way of pen and paper is actually really helpful for this exercise. Um, I think it's important to write yourself a letter of, and I say this not to elicit any kind of shame, but a letter of apology to your body of like, you know, dear body, <laughs> thank you for being with me all these years. And I'm so sorry for all the ways I talk to you and just start to speak from the heart about, you know, thank you for the, the lungs that breathe that I don't have to do that work. And, you know, thank you for getting me around. And even though maybe I'm frustrated that you don't have the same functioning as that you used to, and I'm angry about that, I'm still really appreciative that you still grow my nails. It, it, I'm not saying you should write a love letter about like how much that you want to love your body now. You don't have to do that. If you want to, you can. And if you're looking forward to that kind of relationship with your body, you can. But I think now is just a time of saying thanks and apology to your body and and honestly, what you want to come into right relationship more with. It doesn't have to be a big promise. It could be that if you're skimping on a certain meal, um, you know, talk about how you want to give yourself a little bit more to have less headaches. Or if you're struggling with knowing when that end point is with a nighttime snack and you get a little over full, talk to your body about like, I want to listen to your signals more, even if I feel more emotional, even if I feel emotional, and even if I still choose to eat more and body, you feel kind of sick or you feel kind of nauseous, I am aware of my relationship with you. So, you know, this letter is also about recognizing, um, you know, the lies that we've kind of been taught to tell ourselves about how um, our needs are too much or... Um, or we shouldn't have as much, or I can get by with less, or eh, it doesn't really matter. This one time, um, you know, I'll restrict or I'll binge or I'll purge and I won't do it again. And, and all those times where like that wasn't usually true. And again, this is just, um, this is designed to be a kind of a homecoming letter and a way of basically coming back into relationship with your, your body. And it's not some in an inanimate piece of Play that you can just make whatever you want. This is actually part of who you are. And um, it's you know, obviously what we look like, what our bodies look like aren't who we are, but it's, it's part of our, um, our um, part of who and how we're created and it's not junk. So um, I hope that's, <laughs> I know it's kind of a, maybe a big ask, but I'd love to hear about what um, comes up for you about this. And even if you just, maybe your assignment is, I'm going to think about doing this letter. This feels like a lot. Then every single day I think about, you know, what would I write in a letter? Just even hypothetically, what would I want to say? If it feels too hard to write it now. But if you want to write it and take your time with it. And if anybody wants to tell me about what that was like for them, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Um, and just see how that impacted you and what shifts might, may have come about from doing it. Um, and then what's next, you know, and that's what tomorrow will be about. All right. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks.